Hey everybody, my name is Matt Atari, and today we're going to go ahead and break down my version of the Eldritch deck on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. For those of you who don't know, Eldritch is definitely considered one of the most meta cards or like the meta deck that you could be running right now. Uh, and I am very budget friendly when it comes to this game. I like running like as little URs and SRs as possible. I always like looking for alternatives like sub in for other cards instead of just having to grind for gems and everything like that. Uh, so today we're going to go ahead and break down my version of this deck starting off i run one ash blossom i don't I, a lot of people like running three but i rely a lot on my trap cards and spell cards for this deck so i i mean you can run none you can run three it's totally your call uh i have three uh in my experience with running three I've bricked many times with three ashes or two ashes in my hand that I just can't even use. And rather than drawing a card that I could actually use, like to bring Eldritch out or to like banish an enemy card, uh, I just like running one just to have it in case, you know, if fate wants to let me draw into that card, uh, so be it. Next, you're going to want to run Eldritch, three of them specifically. Uh, I have seen people run two, but. Honestly, if you're looking for the most optimal Eldritch setup here, you're gonna to want to run three. Uh, I try to limit the URs and SRs here, but I, I try to like only include the ones that you absolutely need. Uh, moving from Eldritch, we're gonna go with Pot of Extravagance. I like to beef up my extra deck with 15 cards. I typically only use about a handful of these, so that way you know I can just like burn those three to six banished. Uh, gives me like a pretty good odds to get rid of like some blue eyes cards or something like some like link monsters that I wouldn't even use. Uh, moving from there, we got the Eldritch or Black Awakening. This is basically going to search for your Eldritch or any Eldritch related cards, which is great if you don't have him in hand or if you want to summon two on the field. Highly recommend running two of these. One is okay. I used to run one until I just decided that, you know, two would probably be better than one in this situation. Going on to the next spell card here, we've got Cursed of Eld or Cursed Eldland. Uh, another staple that you absolutely need two of this is one of those that there's just like no getting around that you absolutely need two, and it is limited to two uh you're going to be able to pay 800 life points and add an eldritch monster or a golden land card to your hand which is huge especially if you don't have those currently and then last for the spell cards we've got called by the grave this is also another staple that i highly recommend running two of it is limited to two uh you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and banish it especially with these meta decks once you get a like to the platinum level so many of these monsters play out of their graveyard and it's just uh, it is an absolute pain especially like eldritch especially if you're running like a mirror match this card is an absolute must uh moving on to the plethora of trap cards we've got here we're running three torrential tributes these are staples as well rares easy to craft when a monster is summoned destroy all monsters on the field this would also include your own monsters your own eldlich but this is great because eldlich loves to play out of the graveyard we've got three needle ceilings which are also uh pretty handy when it comes to like pendulums or you know anytime your opponent goes for some crazy combos puts more than four monsters or four or more monsters on the field it destroys all face-up monsters again just like torrential tribute uh eldlixir of scarlet sanguine I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a must for Eldlich. This card, uh, you can special summon a zombie card from your deck or your graveyard, which is great because not only do you get these Eldlich, we'll get down here to these trap cards that also serve as monster cards, but this can also trigger those to like pull those from the grave or from your deck to the field to place down in def like, like defense mode, to place down and uh, like set down those traps on the field. Next, uh, this is a little unpopular but i like to run dogmatica punishment i used to run three but i kind of had the same situation with ash blossom where i was just like i had those and i was just bricking because there was nothing applicable if i already used my uh, pot of extravagance uh, basically what this is going to do is you target one face up monster your opponent controls you send that monster send one monster from your extra deck with equal or higher attack to the graveyard and that destroys the monster that they summon so again another great idea is to beef up your extra deck with 15 put some burner cards like blue eyes neo blue eyes i don't need those i don't really give a shit those are gone <laughs> just uh banish though or just get those to the graveyard pops your opponent's monster no questions asked i like to run one solemn judgment just because i have ran like I've I've tried it with two and I feel like it just immediately it, it, it like it just drains your life points down way too low. 
Uh, if I pop one of these from 8,000, you go to four, and then four to two if you run a second one, uh, which could leave the window wide open just for your opponent to get a cheap shot in if they have like a card that does inflicting piercing damage or just something that attacks you directly. I like running one just as a safe measure, especially with some of those crucial cards. It's just like a nice stop to your opponent's flow. Moving on, here's where we get into a little bit more of the alternative side of this deck. Uh, some people love to run a couple extra URs in this deck, but I'm, I'm very budget friendly. I like to if I can run a rare or a normal even like a super rare sometimes that what will do the same thing as you are that's the option I'm going to opt with here for starters a lot of people a lot of decks that I've seen run like Eldritch they love to run Imperial Order which is negating all spell effects on the field I like to run as an alternative magic drain which is basically the same thing when your opponent plays a spell you can play this trap here it's going to trigger and what it's going to do is it's going to prompt your opponent to either discard one extra spell card that they have in their hand to save their spell or uh, if they don't, then it's just going to negate the spell. Uh, highly recommend this card. It is very underrated, especially if you're looking for an alternative for that UR Imperial Order. Cannot recommend it enough. The next UR I like to substitute. A lot of people like to run Solemn Strike, which is uh, when a monster would be special summoned or like a monster effects is triggered. If you pay 1500 life points, you negate the summon or the activation of the effect. And I like to run Black Horn of Heaven as its alternative because when your opponent would special one, uh, like special summon one monster, you can negate that special summon and destroy the card at the same time. Time. it is a rare it is super easy to craft must have in this deck highly underrated just like magic drain cannot recommend it enough uh, golden land forever is also another uh critical super rare you're going to want to run here this is like you can only activate this card when you have eldritch on the field when you have him on the field and an effect is triggered you can just pop this card which is going to tribute your eldritch it's going to sacrifice your eldritch send him to the graveyard and it's going to negate all of that going on with your opponent a must have especially with how much eldritch likes to play out of the graveyard going down to the bottom here we've got skill drain uh this is where this is just uh, a busted card right now if you activate this card you pay a thousand life points and it negates all the effects of face up face up monsters it's a continuous trap must be running three of those cannot recommend it enough uh, and then lastly, we got the Golden Land Traps here, the Conquistador and the Hakero, uh, Huacero. I really am butchering those names. Basically, these are your uh, zombie monsters here. They're, you run three of each. They are rares. Uh, whenever they are triggered, you can bring them up to the field. This one will have 1,800 attack, 500 or 1,500 defense. This one will have 500 attack, 1,800 defense. And also, whenever these are activated, when you control Eldritch, this one can banish a card, the Conquistador, and this one here can uh, destroy a card. And then lastly, we're going to bump down here to the extra deck. It's nothing really extravagant. Again, I like to beef these up and put a couple of burner monsters in here. I put two Blue Eyes Twin Bursts and two blue, uh, Neo Blue Eyes. Those have absolutely no business being in this comp at all. Uh, this card, the, uh, the King of Heavy, you can run this if you have two of these uh zombie monsters on the field it does require three level or three i'm sorry it does require three level five monsters which these would be if you pop three of those on the field at the same time which can happen pretty commonly you can bring out this bad boy he's got 3200 attack uh you can detach a material send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard uh definitely recommend that especially if uh you know they're looking for some crucial cards to get drawn into there next i've got number 39 again this requires three level five monsters which you can find right here um uh, not a huge staple but you know running as many xc's as you can is uh, i would recommend these aren't going to be like the determining cards here they can be burned it doesn't really matter uh but if you need something to bring out with a little bit more oomph a little bit more firepower highly recommend c39 crimson knight vampire is also another uh, optional one i like running this one it has two level five zombies which you can get out of those uh trap cards here it is an ultra rare you don't need it it's not necessarily a staple but uh you will get it pulling some of those eldritch uh the, like the vampire secret packs lastly i would say the super dreadnought rail cannon is the staple extra deck card you want to run if you have the gems craft this if you are feeling lucky pull this it requires two level 10 monsters, which if you have two Eldliches on the field, that's your special summon right there. That's your Xyz material. Place those down. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. If you detach both Eldliches, send those back to the graveyard. That's 4,000 damage directly to your opponent's life points. That cuts out half of their life points. Then you just bring those Eldliches back at 3,500 damage each from the graveyard. And that's just, it's just busted. Highly, highly recommend this card. Crafting it, you only need one. 
but that's the best place that you can start here if you're looking for the staple extra deck card in this deck vampire sucker is a nice card to have i drew into two you don't necessarily need them like urgently but they are pretty nice especially with the synergy of this deck and you can't go wrong with the access code talker is just the most busted card in this game right now one of the most busted cards for sure uh, i like running them here just just in case like a little insurance policy because you never know how many monsters you're going to have on the field you might need to link them out send in the beast just have him do your dirty work and as far as budget deck goes, uh, this did not run me too much. I drew into most of these cards from packs. So as far as your gym situation is looking, as long as that's pretty solid, you can draw into a lot of these cards from the secret deck setup. I crafted a handful of them, like the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. Uh, I did craft, uh, you can get the Solemn Judgment out of those bonus packs here, but I did have to craft like uh, the Called by the Graves. Uh, there are alternatives for Called by the Graves, but I like it just being a quick play spell. It's just super easy, uh, simple. You just pop the card, banish one, it's good to go. Uh, this deck performs incredibly well, despite there only being, you know, technically four actual playable monsters here. Uh, this did carry me into plat pretty easily. Uh, it handles most decks pretty, pretty solidly, like Sky Strikers. It doesn't typically have a problem with most Pendulum decks, like Odd Eyes. It can handle pretty well. Tri Brigade, it pretty much holds its own against as well. It's kind of evenly matched, just depending on how you and like what you draw into. And there you have it. That's the setup that I've been running. It's been working pretty great for me. Uh, highly recommend trying this out, or if you guys have any other recommendations for cards that would fit well into this synergy that I'm not running currently, please be sure to share those down in the comments. I am always looking to make alterations and, you know, add new additions here to this deck i'll definitely be showing more of what this deck can do here either on twitch or through a video here later on the channel but as far as that all goes thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope this deck helps you and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace